Hey guys, um, so back for topic talk, and um, today we're going to talk about guns. Um, this is going to be a hot button issue, I'm pretty sure, because you're either one way or the other. There's no ride in the fence, I don't believe. Um, most of y'all know how I feel about guns. I'm not a fan. Uh, I'm a very good shot. For somebody that doesn't like guns. I've had exes that were in the military. And we've gone to shooting ranges. My brother was a marine. Um, and. He he condones guns. I have family members that were. Um, that are gun advocates. And that's fine. That's all good and gravy. Do what you do. My standpoint on them. Is completely different than most of my families. I mean, Southern people tend to be very enthusiastic about their their guns, and um, I'm not a fan. I just think that there are too many other ways for me to protect myself than uh, use of deadly force. Um, I I'm pretty brash. Most of y'all that know me know my know I'm pretty. I'm pretty rough around the edges. Um, I say all kinds of shit. I'm not the nicest human being on the planet. However, I know who I am internally, whether people that see me externally know it or not. And I could never, ever live with the death of another human being on my conscience. Accidental or not, could never do it. Um, like I said, there's just too many other ways for me to protect myself than to have to use that kind of force. Um, I I know I have a I have a hell of frying pan. Like if you come up in my house, you gonna play hell. If you broke in my house, it'd be kind of retarded anyway. I ain't got sh shit worth you stealing. <laughs> but if you did, I, I I could I could hit you with a lamp. I could hit you with a frying pan. I could hit you with anything in my house. And 10 to 1, I can subdue you without needing a firearm. It does not make sense why people are like, it's for my protection. Wait, you don't own furniture? I, I don't understand. I could hit somebody with anything and put them down. You know, it. <sighs> firearms are dangerous and they cause accidents on a regular basis. And one of the very big things that gets on my nerves the worst, like I am okay with you having firearms, if you are safe about it, if you've got them locked up, you only utilize them when needed, or um, if you're shooting at cans, you know, some people do that shit, like, just to make sure they're still okay, good shot. Um, I don't understand this one aspect, and if y'all see this video, y'all disagree with me, feel free to drop a comment, you're not going to hurt my feelings, I want somebody else's opinion, because I don't understand how people that can take 6, 8, 10, 12 year olds out hunting, so let me, let me clarify, let me get this straight, because I don't want to be confused, you don't trust a 6, 8, 10, 12 year old to drive an automobile, you don't trust them to know how to consume alcohol or tobacco, you know, you got to there's an age limit, you got to be 18 or 21. You don't trust them with those kind of items, but you trust them with a deadly weapon. Somebody please explain to me where that makes sense. Like, I know there are certain like laws for owning um handguns. But you can go to any damn Walmart and buy, like, a shooting, like, shotgun type thing without any any age restriction or any of that shit. And people that do buy them will still let children handle them. What the fuck? Like, somebody please explain this to me. If you, you don't even start teaching your kid driving lessons till they're 14, 15 years old. Well, down here, you know. Um... Because they can't get their license till 16, right? Okay, that's the case. Why the fuck are you teaching a, a, a 6, 8, 10, 12 year old? It's okay to use a firearm. What the fuck sense does that make? I don't think that, I think they should be giving classes at 15. Like you do when you teach them to drive. 
and you get a permit of some sort at 16. Like, then you're old enough to realize the repercussions of the weapon that you're you're handling. Like, that's not a toy. At six, eight years old, what the... Even 10-year-olds, what the fuck? They think this is a toy. They do not know, fully know and understand the repercussions of what that weapon is capable of. I seen a few years ago a, a article about a eight-year-old boy that got his daddy's gun and shot his four or five-year-old brother and killed him by accident because they were playing cops and robbers and they, they just, like... They don't, they don't have the mental capacity to handle that kind of responsibility. If I'm not going to trust my kid with a car at 6, 8, 10, 12 years old, I'm damn sure not going to trust them with a deadly weapon. No. No, boo-boo. That is, that is crazy as hell. And Southern folks are the world's fucking worst. We will put, we, not me, <sighs> Southerners will put a goddamn gun in a child's hand, take them hunting like it is a rite of passage. Columbine could have been avoided by children not having access to guns because they don't fully fucking know the consequence and repercussions of their actions. If you ain't old, drive, uh, old enough to drive a car, you ain't old enough to handle a firearm. It's just that simple. I get crunk about that. I'm, I'm not going to keep talking about children and firearms. If y'all let your kids handle weapons, that's your own stupidity. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to go to another another thing. Um, I hate to put my brother on blast. Because I only got one, so everybody knows who I'm talking about. But my little brother... It scares the shit out of me. Okay. He is very comfortable with firearms. My my brother is 25, I think. Shit. He might be 24. I don't know. My brother's like four years younger than me. I have no idea. I think he's 25. Anyway, he's very comfortable with firearms, but he was in the military several years, so I understand why he would be comfortable with firearms. But this dude rides around with a gun in his truck. No, boo-boo. Nope. I... It makes me uncomfortable because if that thing slides in the floor and just pops off, I'm losing a foot. It don't make sense. Like, it's crazy as hell. So, some people are comfortable with weapons. I'm just not. Like, and as my friend, my family member, my whomever you are to me, if you know how uncomfortable I am with a gun, it's common courtesy <laughs> to, like set that thing aside when I'm around like I don't understand I, you're either an enthusiast or you're not a supporter and I don't think people can be on the fence I think that we don't have enough rules regulations and laws for gun ownership particularly with the with the children operating deadly weapons it's not a rite of passage you're teaching your kids that a deadly weapon is to be taken lightly. I, like, you may say, oh, well, I, I, I tell them, you know, I tell them. Kids don't grasp shit the way that adults grasp shit. So, you telling them all of this ain't going to sink into a six-year-old's mind. It ain't going to sink in up until they're 12, 14 that, like, they don't take shit the same way we do. You can tell them it's dangerous and you ain't supposed to handle this without me around and you're not supposed to do that. You can tell them all these rules at that age, but they don't concept things the way we do. Like, they don't get the concept the way we do. So I think that it should be illegal to have your children have, it, like, handling firearms until they're old enough to drive a car. That's, uh, you know, like, we need more laws in place about guns. I don't think that they should take them from everybody. Don't confuse me as one of them nuts. I'm just saying we need more laws in place. It would protect children. And side note, if your ass is one of these hunters that goes hunting for sport and not because you're actually going to consume the damn deer, 
I don't like you. If you are killing an innocent animal that wasn't bothering your ass whatsoever for sport, you need to go see a therapist. Sport hunting is the worst shit I've ever heard of in my life. It's one thing if you are killing that deer and you're actually going to use that deer. Use, like, actually eat it. I don't eat deer meat. I think it tastes too earthy. It's very weird textured. Um, I've never, I've ate deer meat twice. I'm not a fan. Don't think all Southerners eat damn deer meat because we don't. Ugh. But, if you actually are one of those people that hunt and actually consume the animal, you have my, you have my, approval with that that's the way shit's supposed to go but if you're hunting a damn deer just to put its head on the wall you are an asshole period like there's no other way for me to say it you are a freaking asshole stop shooting shit that you do not intend to use that's dumb as hell you need your gun take, taken just as much as the kids need it taken from them the kids and the, the guns thing irritates me to the into the earth and back. I don't, I don't understand that. I would never let my children handle a gun at, at such ages. It's, I guess everybody believes different things, but that's dangerous. If y'all disagree with me, please, please feel free to comment. Tell me, if you are one of those parents who lets their kids hunt, Tell me in the comments why you do it and do not use it's a rite of passage because that's not a that's not a thing, yo. Like I'm from the south. That's not a thing. Let me know. Put it in the comments. I will respond to you. I want to know y'all's point. This is a very hot button issue for me. If you can't tell this video is a little bit longer than other ones I've made, but I want to know y'all's feedback. I honestly do because I can't be the only person that thinks that 6, 8, 10, 12 year olds shouldn't be handling guns. I'm not the, I can't be the only person that thinks there's other ways pepper spray, taser, hit that fool with a frying pan. There's other ways to defend your home. I cannot be the only person on the planet that feels like this. Let me know in the comments if y'all agree, disagree, and if you disagree, please inform me why you disagree. I would love to hear from you. Um, until next time, I wish you all the best. I hope you get everything out of life that you could ever want. Um, and y'all be safe. If you're a gun enthusiast, be safe. And I will see you guys later.